Forget it. Forgotten. Well, I have to go. But I've got my eye on you, Buster. Ooh, how will I ever get to sleep again? But if you do, can you like go to sleep now so I can try those dream glasses out? Okay, so now that we have the dream glasses, we're going to... Oh, first of all. I happen to know that aliens do exist. I saw one once. He had glass over his face and a big tank on his back. Ooh, scary. Oh, yeah. Whoa. All the colors are making me nauseous, man. Oh, SpongeBob, you kill Joy. Great. Sweaty gym socks. Well, at least they hide the sardine smell. <laughs> Wow! Look at that super huge net! Think of how many jellyfish you could catch with that! Eggs. Hard boiled. I prefer sunny side up, actually. Anything else in here? I guess not. Okay, so now we're gonna head to, uh, let's go ahead and go to SpongeBob's house real quick. I guess I should actually, you know, make sense of what's going on here. So, first of all, you gotta enter SpongeBob's house. Now, uh, you're probably wondering about this, uh, this ram snake that's just sitting here in Spongebob's house in a glass bowl. But first things first, let's go to Spongebob's bathroom real quick. Or closet door. Okay, closet. And apparently, closet's all that Spongebob has. It's just, suddenly Spongebob's house is just a, a literally just a, a studio apartment. You know, you just have the living room here and the closet. That's it. That's literally it. Okay, that looks like my studio apartment that I used to live in. Like, deja vu. Anyways, open the closet door, you get the tape for chapter three. Looks like some sort of videotape. Alright, and then we can I guess we can watch a movie or something. Watch a movie with our beloved snake we never met before here. Okay, so this is where you can actually watch the uh cre the uh videos we've been un unlocking if you want to. But you can also actually do it just by going to your pause menu, so yeah. Like so. So really there's no points to this uh, TV here. Okay, uh I'm gonna get out of here. Here we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Walk the sitting area. Okay, that's it. All right, now let's go check out the snake, shall we? Pick up water helmet. Stop! There's a sea snake in my water helmet. I better find some way to charm him out of there. And that probably leads us back to the, well, I mean, it, that's probably where we can deduce from there why we need uh, Squidward's clarinet. And also we we can tell from, uh, well, actually, I guess you can tell kind of here, there's a clue that Squidward's sleeping. Okay, fair enough, right there. But yeah, so we gotta wake up, we gotta somehow borrow Squidward's uh, clarinet, so that way we can charm the sea snake out of SpongeBob's water helmet. So, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so upstairs we go, and let's check out Sword's bunny slippers. Bunny slippers! I wonder where he got those. Yeah, I want some too. Anything else? God, love it. Okay. That's where Squidward keeps his wig. Look at Squidward. He's so photogenic. All right, now for the main event. Let's put on these Whoa. drink glasses. After seeing him, you know, perform a beloved tune real quick. I'm starting to feel sleepy. I better go lay down. What? Huh? What the? I look oh. like Squidward, but not completely. This is weird. Uh, uh what? the hell am I looking at? <laughs> what is this? Is this like a dream acres or something? Is that what it's supposed to be called? It's kind of like a tentacle acres, but... No, this is more like a hell acres, I guess. Or hell valley, or whatever you want to call it. Because, yeah, all these Spongebob houses. Wow. Squidward must be having a nightmare. So you assume that he's having a nightmare if he's having a dream about your house, which, me which means that you are aware that you are Squidward's worst nightmare. <sighs> okay, so that was already opening for us, but seriously, what is this? The weirdest thing right now is just the 
the sponge squid or the squid sponge or whatever you want to call that. <laughs> oh man. Wow, oh my god, the way he walks it's too. Some sort of a pyramid. Those walk cycles, man. Patchy would be having like a field day today. Oh boy. Like seriously, these statues, man. Wow, that's me! And I look mean. Alright, let's just walk up the stairs and forget this ever happened, shall we? Even the way he walks upstairs looks weird! Wow, oh my god! Look at all these people. Oh my god. Okay, so this is obviously a flashback or a reference to the uh, uh, sleep, sleepy time episode, but I'm never gonna get over this. I'm just never gonna get over this. Like, how are they ever gonna top this? All right, let's walk down the aisle. Oh, walk rather strangely. That's Squidward's music stand. That's Squidward. Hey, Squidward, it's me, Squidward. Huh? You look kind of like SpongeBob. I got here just in time. There's been a mix-up in our dream. Yeah, well, I'm listening. This is the dance recital. Dancing is clearly a left brain activity. The clarinet recital is over at the right brain. Oh, well, I'll just get on over there. No, 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 don't bother. I'm covering right brain tonight. Just give me the clarinet and I'll head over. You stay here and dance. Dance like you've never danced before. Yes, yes, of course, I will dance. I will dance like the wind. Good, knock him dead. If I could just have that clarinet now. Yeah, sure, here it is. Remember to clean the reed. Oh, I don't need to tell you that. Right, great, okay, will do. Later, Squidward. Bye, Squidward. And of course, we went, I guess we went opposite day Wait, on this too. Now I can use this clarinet to get that sea snake out of my water helmet. And I guess Squidward took uh, SpongeBob's advice seriously there. I don't know if it's the wow. knock of dead or the. I'm glad I'm back to being me. Being Squidward is hard work. Yeah, it's kind of weird too. I mean, if only he had a mirror, SpongeBob. But seriously, Squidward, Squidward was taking SpongeBob's advice seriously there. Whether it be, you know, the. Uh, uh, knock him dead part or the uh, dance like he never danced before part. I don't know. I guess he took both of them seriously Okay, so now we have scores clarinets. Let's make our way back home. Shall we and finally get our water helmets? All right Oh, whoopsie. You've got to actually get to see a uh, actual screen first. Here we go. And somehow it works. There we go. And of course, since it's underwater, it's already going to be filled up with water. And with that, the entire map is filled. We now get to go to Sandy's house. And actually, that will be the end of this chapter. Yeah, that's probably the shortest chapter I've had. Or either that's just the one that I know the most, so I do the most well at. Well, chapter one was also, I guess, I don't know. Either way, it's a very short chapter. And uh, I, expect, I think chapter four is even longer. But here we go. I guess it's almost half an hour though. It is still still fairly lengthy. All right. Uh. Wow! Look at that. Yeah. Might as well check out the rocket, I guess. Look at those rocks just sitting there. They think they're so cool. <laughs> I love that. I just love that so much. Okay. All right. That's Sandy's tree. She lives up there. All right. Let's go take a look, shall we? I can't go to Sandy's without my water helmet. I can't breathe air, you know. Sure you can. You were able to do it for almost half of the episode in that one. All right. Sit on side. I love visiting Sandy in her tree dome. Where else in Bikini Bomb? Can you worry about dying from all the... Oh, wrong game. Okay. Hi there, Sandy. How's it going? Oh, hey there, little square dude. It's going pretty good, except I can't find my oxygen tanks. Why do you need oxygen tanks? Hey, because that's what my rocket runs on, silly. I switched it over to oxygen fuel a few weeks ago. It's cleaner. Maybe I can help you find those tanks. That'd be great. I've been looking all day. Darn near turned this whole place upside down. I know they're somewhere in my dome. I just don't know where. I'll find them and bring them back. Don't you worry, Sandy. Great. Thanks, SpongeBob. Then we can get going to Neptune's. SpongeBob. 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 Turn around. SpongeBob, turn around. Thank you. 
Are you gonna tell Sandy about that picture you have of her on your closet? In your work closet? Does she know about that picture? Tell me, SpongeBob, you gotta tell me. Oh, I guess she doesn't know. Well then, I guess I will tell her. <laughs> okay, so anyways, uh, you have to go to the- Wow, oh. Sammy must have had a good reason for flipping over that picnic table. Uh, let's see. Or, I know it's somewhere what, around. What did that bench ever do to anybody? Shh, okay. Well, if actually, if you walk behind the picnic table... I finally found you! So, she was turning this place upside down. She was looking under everything. So why didn't she see the oxygen tanks? She clearly looked under the picnic table because she knocked it over. <sighs> I don't know. Either way, found it. So let's go ahead and head back to Sandy Street. Oh, can we walk to the other side? What's on the other side, actually? Oh. Okay, it's an Alaskan bullworm. No, it's way too small for that, actually. Seriously, Sponge SpongeBob, are you gonna just think? Are you gonna tell Sandy about that giant worm she has inside her tree dome? I think she wanna know that. Okay, now let's go in Sandy's tree dome. Here we are. Okay. I think Sandy made that phone herself. She's very handy. Look at that chair. It rocks. Those lanterns burn for hours straight. Technology, I huh? <laughs> All right, here we go. Sandy, I found the oxygen tanks. Woo-wee! I knew you could do it, my little wrangler. Now let's get our rears in gear and hop along to Neptune's paradise. Hey, SpongeBob, what you doing? Gee, Patrick, it's about time you showed up. I'm helping Sandy fill up the rocket with oxygen fuel. Oxygen fuel? SpongeBob's taking care of that now. I set a new record down at the diner for the most sandwiches ever eaten. That's right, Patrick. Let's get on board while the rocket finishes fueling up. Oh, I don't feel too good. Oh, Patrick. Come on, you can bounce better than that. Safety belt secure. What kind of thumbs up is that, Patrick? Does she have like a thumb injury or something? Turns on the headlights. Are we there yet? And that switch are there, there yet? the horn. And this gauge shows how deep are we are. Are we there yet? And these switches here are for the ejection. Are we there yet? Don't touch those. Are we there yet? I have to go to the bathroom. Are we there yet? I have to go to the bathroom. And the most important gauge of all. Are we there yet? I have to go to the bathroom. Fuel. SpongeBob. Are we there yet? What happened to all of our oxygen? Oh, maybe oh, E God. means Richie. extra fuel. Apparently not in this universe. Are we there yet? Not to eat all that junk food earlier today. Oh! I gotta go find the bathroom. Sandy seems uncharacteristically friendly and happy, despite the fact that SpongeBob Patrick literally just crashed her rocket. No, this is more like a uh, Hell Acres.
Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Employee of the Month. I'd like to give a special thanks to currently my only patron, Jose Cazares. If you'd like to have your channel mentioned here, follow the link, Patreon link below in the description to find out more. If you like what you see, consider subscribing and liking the video and supporting me on Patreon. See y'all tomorrow for another video.